Hi guys, Bjorn here with my R2, still unskinned and legless, and I'm going to skin him over the next couple of weeks, and I figured while he's still unskinned, I'm going to show you the electronics. Um, we had a discussion about that on astromech.net, so um, let me just show you. I have the electronics panel back in here. It has an Arduino Mega with a distributor breadboard on top. There's an ATX um, power supply here. There's the reception module for the wireless nunchuck and um, a motor controller that's a Devontech MD22. And there's a fuse box down there. And here we have another Arduino that's um, outfitted with a high resolution display for um, communication and so you can th see what's going on. So let me show you the whole thing from the front. Let's switch on. Okay, so what do we see here? Down there in the left hand corner, if you see that, that's um, basically the communication. Every packet that the Arduino back there is sending to the Arduino in front here um, is recorded there. If nothing would be sent, then this would all be read. Um, and you can see a couple of buttons here. They are all subsystems. When they're red, they're kind of damaged. When they're green, they're okay. And when they're yellow, something about them is wrong. Um, we have the joystick here. We have the um, infrared distance sensors in the feet. We have ultrasound. We have motor and we have a bit of timing. Um, the timing button is red because currently the, the Arduino back there is trying, to, uh, trying very hard to establish communication with the nunchuck, which we have here, and it's not on yet. So um, this establishing process takes a bit of time. Let's go in there. I have a, um, a rotary encoder with a knob here, and let's go into the timing. And what you see here is um, that the Arduino in back right now takes a bit more than 10 milliseconds for each loop. And I have a 10 millisecond control loop, so this is, this is too much. And this is because he's still looking for the nunchuck. So let's switch the nunchuck on. I'll go to the specialization here, to the joystick. Um, and I'll just press the sync button. And it usually takes a couple of seconds. As you can see, it's still, it's still red. Give it some more time. There he is. Okay, you see the accelerometer here, um, the joystick, right, the joystick motion, the buttons, and as you can see down there, now it's green because now communication is okay. Let's look into the ultrasound sensors. I'm not quite content with them, they actually don't work very well yet. I'm not quite sure why that is. I think I still have some interference that I have to work out. But if you, if you take a look at the bottom, I have five ultrasound sensors, two on each side and three in the front. The hole in here is where one ultrasound sensor should go. I fried that yesterday, so this is the one that's actually broken. Um, okay, now let me see. If I can show you something, as I said, I'm not, not very content, but if you look at the blue line at the bottom, um, you can see it should show some distance. Um, yeah, and I have no idea why this is as noisy as it is, but it's the first day that I have these things on, so I'm going to probably still figure that out. Okay, what's more, there, um, there's the on and off button, there are two um, USB ports, one for communication with the Arduino back there, one with the front one. Um, there's two, um, two sockets for battery charging, they're not connected yet. And well, the next thing is to skin the whole beast and put the legs on and then have the whole machine run, hopefully semi-autonomous with um, distance control and collision avoidance and I still have one month to go till Düsseldorf, till JediCon and I think I'm going to make it. 
All right, that's all, folks. Thank you. Goodbye.